Hi guys, some exciting stuff about to happen. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm back from work uh, for today. And so, when I said it's Thursday, alright, so I said I'd tell you what uh, what all that stuff is for. And I don't think anybody's, well, let's check. I don't think anybody's uh, said anything or guessed at all. The internet's so slow outside. I don't know what it is. But I guess while that loads, uh, this is my shopping cart for cycle brakes. Um, this is uh, confirming that I will be uh, doing those brake videos. Somebody, I think Outer Space Online asked me to do those. Uh, so I'll do, I guess I'll do it on rebuilding the calipers and changing the pads and cleaning the calipers, which I guess will probably be part of. Uh, rebuilding them, and bleeding the brakes, I guess. So I'll do a video on whatever's involved with that, but, uh, whoops. Here's just, uh, showing you that I'm doing that. So, I'm order, I'm gonna order these. Uh, and then, hey, there it is. Am I on, like, our Wi-Fi? No, I'm not. That's why. Okay, cool. Now I'm on our Wi-Fi. Uh, let's do comments. Oh, there are any comments I haven't seen yet. Uh, off of the, yeah, okay, so nobody's guessed, uh, whoops, nobody's guessed what, what it's gonna be, so, uh, I guess you'll find out about that, but, I'm gonna order these, and, uh, I'm probably a bit close, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna order these, and, uh, I'll catch up with you later, because... I have that package in there, and I haven't opened it yet, and I'm excited, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, uh, I just placed my order for my brake lines and brake pads. Uh, if you're wondering, it was like 220 bucks shipped, and that was with, actually, USPS Priority Mail. I should probably cover that, uh, although yeah, I doubt you'll be able to read it, but, so it was shipped with that, um, so it should be here what, Friday, Saturday, I think USPS says Saturday too, so it'll probably be here either Monday or Tuesday, which is fine because I won't be able to do anything with them until probably Thursday after work, because uh, I take my bike to work, so, but yeah, so, and I'll have to get uh, gaskets from the Kawasaki dealer uh, that'll need to do that, so, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, if I didn't do that, it probably wouldn't have gotten here till Friday using the regular shipping, so that's why I did that. Is this closed at all? Sealed? There it is. Okay. So, yeah, so those should be here Monday, Tuesday, and I'll, I'll do like an unboxing video of that, I guess. But, uh, my microcontroller, okay, that I'm using with the stuff in this box, I believe is in Connecticut, so I can't really do a demo for you. But I can show you what this stuff is. And actually, maybe I'll bring it over to the bike and give you a brief explanation on what it's going to be. But here it is, okay? Pretty pumped about this. What's this? Probably packing list. Packing list. That stuff is in here. Oh, yes it is. This is beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, well, I guess I'll start with, uh, with these. Um, these are the FlexiForce sensors. These are good to 100 pounds. Uh, and they vary the resistance, um, you know, based on how much pressure is applied. And so the deal is, uh, you know... Say you're putting 5 volts through this, um, when nothing's touching it, nothing, well, a very little electricity current is getting back to this pin, but if you start squeezing it, uh, the resistance gets lower and lower and lower, and more and more current goes back through, and that gives you a reading on how hard you're pressing. And so that can be useful for what it's being used for. Um, and then in here we have two different things that are relatively similar, but a little bit different. So I'll explain them. 
I only need one of each. Oh, that's nifty. They uh, they glue the bag. It looks like, or they melt it or something. So, ooh, so uh, the stuff stays stays separated inside the bag. That's pretty cool. But I need a one of these so I can explain. All right, you know, what? we'll just take them all out. <laughs> all right, so this is a rotary potentiometer, um, and this is something that you would find like on your not your car stereo but uh if you have like a a regular like uh stereo system where you turn the knob and, and then it stops okay that's what this is essentially um and what it does is it varies resistance depending on how far this knob is turned uh same way that these these force things do uh so that's nifty these are different these are rotary encoders and so what these do is, if you can see, these spin continuously in either direction. But if we look at one of these rotary potentiometers, it only goes so far before it, it sort of like bottoms out. And so as a result, which that's kind of loose actually. And so as a result, these are a bit more expensive and they're more difficult to work with um, programming wise. Um, so that's why I only have, I'm only going to be using one of them hopefully. But, uh, that's why, a bug or something, that's why I'm using mostly these guys. But I think I will go over to the bike now, and, uh, I'll bring the whole thing. Why not? It'll be a field trip. Show you what these guys are going to be for. Um, so I guess I can reveal to you now what it's going to be.